I am here with Damien Carney from Joyco. Damien, kind of loving, hang on, I'm gonna zoom in on your mustache. Thanks. <laughs> Damien, show us your hands. Damien's been working very hard. We are here in LA doing a behind the scenes on the July cover shoot. Is it July? Absolutely. It's, it's July, okay. And Damien was explaining to me what he's doing on this chick right here. Tell us all about it, Damien. Well, here what I've done is, is the collection is based on using wigs, and I find this is a great way of expressing different forms of creativity, because you can literally do anything. The only limitations are your mind. Here what I've done is, is I've set the hair by using conventional perm rods, and basically what I've done is use some of the texture spray from the design collection. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take this piece, and then basically I'm going to arrange it so I can create an abundance of different shapes and textures through here. I'm going to pin this on through the hair, I'll be shooting some straight on, and then I'll be doing some profile. So what it enables me to do is to literally create some very, very strong shapes. Perfect. And you were telling me about the wig. When you go to buy these wigs, they're a thousand dollars, and just tell me what you look for. When one is looking to buy a wig, well, I think the thing is, is when you're looking at wigs, I mean, obviously you're going to buy something that, you know, based on your budget. But to me, I think it's worth investing um, quite a large amount of money if you're going to use your wigs constantly. This is um, real hair. And if you look very, very closely, you can see that what's been done, it's all been hand sewn. So they retail for maybe around 1000 700 It all depends on where you want to buy them from. The important thing to consider is that this is real hair. So the only thing is it's not attached to somebody's head. If you actually, um, you know, curl it, you can perm it, you can do many, many things. It comes in all different shades. This, I bought the lightest one, so it's kind of a very light golden blonde. And then it allows us to deposit all of these different kind of colors, which was done by Sue Pemberton. And basically what we can do then is create a very kind of diluted, pearly, kind of glossy kind of hair. So if you've got the money and you're very serious about what you're doing, I recommend these highly. Maybe buy one or two, and I'll recycle these. I'll change the color, I'll straighten it, I'll cut them. So I'll use them for many, many other shoots. So in a long-term investment, it basically makes it much, much easier. And if you look around here, look, the hairline is netted. Hang on, so, I'm zooming in. There you go. So what I will do is, is I will cut this and I will glue this to the hairline. So you can make it look as realistic as you want. They use this a lot in films and theater. So, you know, you could also use wefts. There are many, many things that you do um, that you can replace a, a wig. It doesn't always have to be a whole wig. But the, the thing that I love about this is that it becomes so organic and I can create any shape that I want to create. The thing that's important is that I've got to find a model that can bring, bring this dead thing alive. So my model choice is very important in the makeup and the wardrobe that's going to kind of complement this. We're going for more neutral colours when it comes to wardrobe. We're going to go for a colourful thing when it comes to colour on the face because it's very much in season. So I see a lot of spring colours. I see a lot of diluted colours. Um, Polaroid transfer um, is a, a key thing in the photography and the image. It's not perfectly um, sharp and it has a very delicate kind of mood. Perfect. This is great. Thank you so much and good luck with the rest it's of the shoot. Thank Can't you wait so to much, see it in July. Thank you.